Hey, it's Dom and Lori here, and we just kind of want to put out a virtual announcement online uh, because we're trying to go completely virtual, and we just want to keep everybody up to date on what's going on as far as uh, teens goes anyway. So we will not be having even videos like this or much of anything during the fast. We kind of want you guys to uh, focus in as a family and encourage each other to one, actually do the fast and push each other and expect great things this year. Um, also, once we once the fast is over, we will be doing a uh, game night at the church. We'll have board games, video games, just like a nice little celebration to kind of you know celebrate the end of the fast and to you know be together under the same roof one more time. Uh, after that, we're not exactly sure what's going to happen as far as teens go, so uh, stay tuned. We will update you as soon as we know what we can do, what we should do, to make sure everybody is safe and healthy uh, the beginning of this year. We are expecting great things, and um, I just wanted to share a quick thought, and this is directly to your teens. This is, I know that none of them have Facebook, so I'm basically asking you to either show them this or relay my message, but... Um, 2020 kind of felt like a year of mourning. There were so many things that were missed, people that were missed, um, you know, graduations, um, expectations being destroyed, but, you know, I was going to have this kind of year and it ended up not being that. And, and almost being on the other side of that makes it almost feel like it was a year of mourning. And the interesting thing was, is in Lori and I's uh, morning Bible time, we were just kind of looking over why people fasted. And in the older in the Old Testament, it was kind of in a spirit or mood of mourning. A, you know, we are, you know, in a time of mourning, so we will fast. And as we go into the New Testament, Jesus is asked about fasting. A couple of John the Baptist disciples say, well, we fast and the teachers fast. How come your disciples don't fast? And this is what Jesus answered. How can the guests of the bridegroom mourn while he is still with them? The time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them. Then they will fast. No one sews a patch on an unshrunk cloth on an old garment, for a patch will pull away from the garment, making the tear even worse. Neither do people pour new wine into old wineskins. If they do, the skins will burst. The wine will run out and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins and both will be preserved. I think we need to have new mindsets going into 2021. There, leave the morning in 2020 and put 2021 almost in a hopeful spirit. We need to be hopeful and we need to have, you know, a joy in this brand new season that we are entering. You know, if we continue with the mindset of, oh, you know, it's going to be the same thing new year or you're still in a state of mourning. If you're going into this fast, still in mourning, that's like putting, that's, you can't put a new thing in old mindsets. Jesus is talking about how you have to have a brand new mindset so you can accept, so that you can bring in new things. And I think that's what a lot of us need. We need new this year. We need new mindsets. We need to give ourselves a new wineskin so that Jesus can just bless us with new things, with hopeful things, with things that make us look into the future hopeful of a brand new start kind of goes along with what you heard pastor john speak about this morning how we have to have hope stretch us because once we get the blessing once that new thing is being put into us it will begin to stretch us just like a new wine skin as it's being filled with that new wine it will stretch as it begins to receive it. And I just want that for you guys today. I want you guys to go into this 21, 2021 season with a brand new mindset, a mindset that is hopeful, a mindset that is able to accept something new. So in this fast, dedicate yourself. And I want everybody under the sound of my voice to stretch themselves 
in this fast. If you didn't do a fast last year, do it. If you are, if you kind of dabbled with the fast, do something a little bit new. Do something new this year. Be bold fast. That's my encouragement to you guys. Yeah, we, um, last year we did different challenges each week. Mm -hmm. And I, and we both decided afterwards that we felt like not very many people were really putting their heart into it and participating. And so we just really want to encourage you this year as teens, um, you know, you're going to get as much out of this as you put into it. Same goes for the adults as well. Um, but just you as teens, I just want to challenge you guys to stretch yourselves this year. Don't give up something that's easy to give up. Like, I'm going to give up tomatoes and you don't even like tomatoes. Like, stretch yourselves, empty yourselves, and expect God to fill, fill it. You know, we... we do the food fast, and John encouraged the adults not to just give up something like social media, which, you know, he also encouraged too, but to also do something with food, because part of fasting is to allow yourself to be hungry, yeah, so that you can hunger after God and let Him fill you up instead, and so I just want to encourage you guys to pick some food items to fast with. If you're not doing something with your family, just do it on your own. And, you know, empty yourself and let God fill it. Take this fast seriously. Um, I was telling Dom, if you if there's nothing that you want to see God do in your life, which I can't fathom, yeah. would even be possible, but do it for someone else that has a need. Yeah. Um, you know, someone that is needs healing or once a family or, you know, there's, there's so much that needs financial blessing that needs a new home. Um, you know, that just wants to hear God speak that searching and looking for God, you know, questioning if you have friends that are questioning whether God is really good, whether he really does exist after everything that's happened, Yeah. you know, fast for them, pray for them. Um, so just take this, take these three weeks seriously. It's three weeks that you can give to God, expect him to move, expect him to speak. Yeah. And when we get back together on the 24th for our game night, like we can get together and hear the awesome things that God has done for you in these three weeks. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So with all that being said, just in short, be bold and do something this year. Fast if you hadn't, do something different if you are a fasting veteran. And I just really look forward to what God is doing. I'm expecting something great and something new in the year of 2021. And if you want us to pray for you during the fast, if there's something that you want to share with us, um, you know, that we can pray with you about during the fast, you have our numbers. Mm -hmm. um, so text us, call us, and we'll do this together. Awesome. Love you guys. Love you guys. Bye.